we have some virgin cocktails that we want to start out with so we can understand how drinks come together. So virgin drinks, no alcohol in them, yet you still got to make them. A bartender needs to know how to make a Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple, we're going with a tall glass. We want to fill it to the top with ice. Our Shirley Temple really only has three things going in there. We're going with the juice, we're going with a sweet clear pop off of our gun, sweet clear soda. So if we're thinking juice, it could be orange juice, it could be pineapple, because pineapple juice is fairly sweet too. As far as that sweet clear pop, it could be 7-Up, Sprite, maybe even ginger ale. That's going to work too. The third thing that we need in that drink is going to be grenadine. So, Grenadine, we always need the grenadine in our Shirley Temple. So let's bring this together. We're going to put in orange juice halfway. We're going to do 7-Up in order to finish that off. And our grenadine. So grenadine, we're going to put in probably about half an ounce. We want to really sweeten that up and make it look pretty. So you can see our grenadine goes in, sinks down to the bottom. It's going to be very sweet. Because we put grenadine in there, we're going to put a cherry on there. We put orange juice in here, so maybe we can go and throw an orange wheel on there. Something nice, big and pretty. A Shirley Temple. As far as virgin cocktails go, not everybody wants Shirley Temples. They want, you get some boys that want something a little bit more manly. Manly. So here we can actually make them a Roy Rogers. Roy Rogers, there's not much to it. A tall glass. We're filling it to the top with ice. We're going to go and take some cola. Toss it in there. Anybody ever had a cherry Coke? All we're doing is a cola. And then finishing that off with grenadine. So, you can imagine this is going to get the kids quite fired up. So. We're adding more sugar on top of a, or on top of cola. There's going to be a lot of punch there. Top it off with a cherry because we ended up adding some grenadine in. We have a Roy Rogers. Virgin drinks you can get a little bit creative with. They don't have to be your standard Shirley Temple or Roy Rogers. Look at your juices. Look at your garnishes. What do you have for condiments? Come up with something creative. Not everybody wants booze in their drink, but they still want a cocktail and they will pay you for it and tip you for it, especially if it tastes great. We're going to do a bitter tonic. Uh, we'll go with a tall glass in this case. Grab a lemon. So take that lemon and go use your muddler and just give it a little bit of a crush to release some of those flavors, some of that juice and a little bit of the bitterness from the rind as well. We're going to go and add some bitters in there and ice. We can ice this all the way to the top. Top it off with some tonic water and a lemon. We put some lemon in the bottom. Let's garnish it with a lemon. We now have a bitter tonic. Something different to sip on.